All right, hey, we seen him, we chased him. My bro got out for two cases, but clearly the two cases and you getting the free did not stop the effing buffoonery. Yes, 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 we here to talk, we here to talk, we here to talk about top five, top five, top five, top five, you know what I'm saying? I'm on the You Can't See Me shit like I'm John Cena. But anyways, we here, Big K.A. back in the building. K.A. too good, he sleep with a cut of up, but you know the big dog. He wanted to turn back in the gray room. Yes, I'm back, I'm back. Back like I never left. Anyways, we'll talk about top five. Now, if you don't know, top five recently got out. You know, hey, congrats. You know, give him a clap and a half. You know what I'm saying? But in his getting out, there's another thing. He threatened Kendrick Lamar, or allegedly threatened Kendrick Lamar. That's another video we're going to talk about. But besides that, and I do mean besides that. Is this my shit? Hold on. My sibling robbed me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> anyways, anyways, um, what was I saying? What was I saying? So, boom. Um, yeah, I lost my train of thought. So, allegedly threatened Kendrick Lamar, but that's not what we're gonna talk about. Basically, he was on live stream with academics and Aiden Ross, or I don't know if it was act stream, whatever. He was on stream with them people, and basically, he said he. Smashed, you know, Cuban dog, Cuban dog, Cuban the Savage, whatever her name is. But basically, he dealt with her, alluded to her having beef with Coyle Ray, and basically, yeah, smashed it. Now, there was a time when, um, when Top Five first caught the uh, first degree murder case, he was on the run, so he was in LA. Um, nigga did the race like he was taking, I ain't gonna lie, but anyways, he was in LA. He linked up with Cuban Dolph or whatever have you, you know, they was doing like some raunchy photos, motherfuckers thought they was dating or he was fucking. Y'all made it seem like y'all was smashing. Let's keep it a buck. Y'all made it seem like that. So again, you can't say that people were wrong to assume that. Also, like you could have cleared it up the whole time when Brody was in jail and all this other shit, right? But now when he's out and he's running around doing his thing, now you're coming out to say something. Anyways, so basically with his stream, he was like trying to expose her. She tried, well, I think she tried to expose him first and then he was exposing her. I, uh, I honestly don't know. What's going on with this situation? I don't know who's in the right, who's in the wrong, but I just seen it, I thought it was hilarious <laughs> and I just wanted to talk about it. So there's a couple excerpts. Of course, there's the video. Again, you can get all this information from the academics page. Basically, Cuban Doe was vehemently saying, I did not do anything with you. She was calling him a lame and calling him every name in the book. You can never touch me. I would <clears throat> take my life if you defiled me. You know, you were inside me. Pause, no diddy, you heard me. And all this other stuff, you know, Five had his retorts. Of course, we've seen the raunchy video of them rubbing up on each other. Also, this is the thing. So, okay, I'm going to assume you and Koi Lorraine did not like each other at the time Koi Lorraine and Presso was dating. Um, by the way, shout out Presso as well. Sorry, I know this is top five stuff. Shout out Big Press. That's real nigga. Anyways, besides that, <clears throat> so y'all didn't like each other. If we're going from the top five story, what he told academics and Eden Ross was, yeah, he was on the run from the law. He was in there with um what's her name cuban dog she was slurping him off coilery seen that whatever tension was exchanged it was about to get down that man pulled out allegedly from him he said he pulled out the smith and wish whatever block he said i could be wrong when he pulled out the tool and he said yo get the fuck back stop all that you know what i'm saying now i don't saying this shit is real. Nigga, I don't know. Now, this is my thing. She also had other retorts like, yo, you be sucking off academic stuff um, so much. Um, What else did he say? Sorry, what else did she say? Saying, oh, why are you unsending stuff? You're messing, messaging me from your friend's account. Why are you unsending things? If you said you f me, you f me. She's like, yo, put out the vid. I'll pay you whatever. Put out the vid if you did actually smash me or whatever have you. So, again, it's one of those he said, she said situations I personally don't know. Nor do I really care. Like, honestly, Cuban dog, your history doesn't help, you know. I will say that. Listen, Jada Young and 6ix9ine, um, 
and various other motherfuckers. What was that nigga's name? Tato, right? His name was Tato, right? Chief Q Cuz? I think it was Tato. Uh, you been with some niggas. Kodak. Y'all had that little thing with Kodak Black. Y'all be, you been with some niggas. That's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Do your thing. I ain't mad at you. But this doesn't help you because again, the way you were moving, you can assume the nigga did fuck you. You can assume that. Baby girl, if you were smoochy, you were smoochy, you hear me? If you out there giving the got got 3000 and you know what I'm saying, getting smashed, you getting smashed. But it is what it is at the end of the day. I ain't gonna lie, this nigga top five. <laughs> He making it entertaining again. I will, I will give him that. He making it entertaining again. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you. It's... Like, and honestly, if, like... I, I, I'm saying this to Cuban now. If he did smash, who really gives... No one gives a fuck. You smash the nigga, so? Who cares? Maybe you don't want him to bring it up. Maybe you have a dude now who's like, why the fuck is this nigga talking about some shit in the past? Maybe that's what it is. And maybe that's why you're upset. Or maybe, yo, you know how girls, you know, niggas do it too. But, you know, you might have smashed somebody, but you regret smashing them later on. It might be one of them situations. I don't know. But, like, I'm just like, bro, the way, like, baby girl, like, we know you out here. You've been linked with niggas. What's wrong with being linked with another nigga? I'm pretty, I'm telling you, if Top 5 was super duper lit, she wouldn't have said shit. Probably would have spun the block back if she's single. But anyways, and anywho, by the way, why the fuck was you and Quayle Ray beefing? I do want to know more about that. I did not expect that to be happening. But yeah, man, what do y'all feel about this little situation? I was just sitting there like, nigga, what is going on? Like, I seen this shit like, excuse me. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't picking no sides. I just wanna see what happens with this shit. But yeah, what do y'all feel? Comment down below. Links in the description. Besides that, is your friendly neighborhood KA signing off for today? The black TJ Dale Wilder doing this thing. My name ring bells like Quasimodo. Hit like, subscribe, train a little bit more to air me. I'm gone. Aye.